afternoon everyone I was about to say morning but it has clicked over into the afternoon so it's Friday it's fun Friday my name is Amanda Fitzgerald and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm in Sydney Australia so welcome welcome to my live card making time uh, usually you will see me go live on a Friday night at 8 30 p.m that is my usual spot um, that's usually when I am well and truly crafting and enjoying my craft however something has come up um, with the family and have to go out tonight so I thought well I was actually I needed to do some craft I needed to do uh, um, a teenage boys card and I should have checked actually how old he's turning before I come in here anyway doesn't matter um because <laughs> the invitation is on the fridge um but i thought well i'm going to create a card anyway so why not go live now so i'm going live now so apologies that i'm not going live tonight but hopefully um all you guys who support me and watch me on a friday night will catch this one um i might even try and post it up tonight i'll see how i go so um what do i need to tell you well i'm actually creating with this one today which is called Level Complete. So this is an awesome kids um, stamp set uh, if they're into gaming, which hmm, there is not many that aren't into it in some shape or form. So it is an awesome one. Um, and I'll show you uh, what's in it. I'm going to create with some circle punches and some designer series paper and whatever kind of else comes my way. I'm going to try and do a boy and a girl one because um, I'm more, more than likely going to need a girl's one more than likely down the track. So it's always handy to have in my stash. Um, and I just want to see how both, a, excuse me, a boys and a girls would come out. So currently we still have, I'm going to use some designer series paper because currently we still have the designer series paper sale, uh, which is 15% off a select, a select, um, selected designer series papers out of this catalogue. Now, if you don't have this catalogue and you don't have a current demonstrator, I'll just take the, the I've got, I have a cover on mine. I, I get mine covered because I use it so much. Um, but if you're not working with a current, if you're not working with a demonstrator and you would like one of these catalogues, please let me know and I would love to get one out to you in the mail. Um, I give them out free of charge, no problems whatsoever. I would love to get this happy mail to you, um, no problems. So yeah, the designer series paper that are, is on sale, it is online. So if you go to my online store, which I have all my links on my online store, so if you'd like to shop with me, that would be awesome. Um, and the links are there. I also do give out uh, free thank you gifts uh, for any orders um, over $50. You'll get a thank you gift from me. All orders will get a card. Um, but if you do spend over $50, you get a thank you gift as well. Just be sure to put my host code in. So I actually need that host code in, um, in order to give you a free thank you gift um, when that comes up in my system. Uh, the links that I put on my Facebook business, business page do have those host codes attached majority of the time. But just have a look when you're in checkout and just make sure that host code is in. If you have any trouble finding my host code, just message me and I'm happy to give you that host code so you can pop it in um, when you're ordering. So if you have a catalog, um, you can actually view all the designer series paper. They start on page 128 with a lovely display of them in those boxes. Um, but the actual pa pa papers start on 129. So a selected few. And you need to go online to actually find out which ones are 15% off. So that's only really got a week left. So it ends at the end of June. So that's when that sale ends. Coupled with that is an amazing join offer. So I have had a few people um, show interest and I had a lovely lady um, join the team um, within the last few days. She took advantage of this offer. So the offer um, is $283 worth of products. So any products of your choice to the value of $283 and you get it for $169. So that's $114 worth of free product which is awesome. Um, so the starter kit is not something they actually send you um, 
with say starter kit items it's whatever you want to buy so if you want to buy a cut and emboss machine or you want to buy all the new cardstock or inks or, or stamp sets or dies whatever you kind of want to put in your starter kit it is your starter kit order so it really is just whatever you want to put in it to the amount of $283 and then like I say you only pay $169. You also get free shipping on that first order so your first starter your, your starter kit order is free shipping. Um, you'll get some business supplies too, some catalogs, you get about eight of these catalogs um, that you can um, share with family and friends if you wish, you don't have to um, but they all come free as well. So um, once you join that's when you actually from then on in, you get 20% off your orders. Okay, so um, at the moment, if you join, you will remain active um, until the end of October. Um, it actually is the end of September, but you get an additional month um, if you need it. So it actually is discount shopping, 20% off. And we have a new catalog starting in September. So you will have the ability to order from there at 20% off. Um, until the end of October. What happens there is the only catch to joining, there's no contract to sign, there's no membership fees or anything like that. The only thing you need to do is spend about $126 um, each month. So it works out over a quarterly minimum. So if you spend more one month, then you, you can spend less the next month. <laughs> Mind you, when you get 20% off, you just want more and more. Um, so once you, if you meet, if you want to meet your quarterly minimum and you meet your quarterly minimum, then that keeps you active for another three months. And that's kind of how you track along. Okay, so, and that's, if you want to share it um, with friends, that also adds to your quarterly minimum. So both your sales and your own personal spend as a hobby demo. Um, so just getting discount on your products because 20% off is quite a nice discount and you can work your way up to 25% as well. So um, that's always good off those full, you don't pay retail anymore. Who wants to pay retail? So it is a great offer. It's only got about, about, about a week left. It ends at the end of June. So how many days are in June? Anyway, it's only got about a week. So if you've been thinking about it, if you've been sitting on the fence, Honestly, this month is the time to join because you get the $114 worth of free product. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I can send you a joining link, which makes it very simple. It is very, in fact, I say to people, the hardest part about joining up is deciding what products you want to buy. You work out what products you want to buy and the rest is cinch. It's just, it's just like opening an online account to a... Um, to a store that you shop in. It's, it's really not all that hard. Um, but if you have any questions, that's what I'm there for. Um, which the lovely lady that joined up had a question and I answered it for her and she was fine. So it works, it works out really well. Okay. So I think that's about it. I think, um, so join offer and, and then you can put your 15% off designer series paper in your starter kit order too. Bonus, win-win. Like what, honestly, as I always say, I hope I don't say it all the time, but if I wasn't a demonstrator, I'd be joining. And if I used to be a demonstrator, you can join again. Like if you used to be a demonstrator and you let it go because you wasn't having time and it just wasn't right for you at that point, you can join again. Join again. So, yeah, awesome idea. Okay, let's get the camera down um, and we will get... But um, please do... Um, if you watch this replay, let me know that you watched it. Um, say hello, where you're watching from. Have a chat, even if I'm not here. Even if you're watching on the replay, I love to hear. I love to hear from people and hear who's out there and is watching. All right, let's flip this camera around. Okay, I've actually got my window open, but it should be all right. And then I've just got to make sure. I might actually just move these. Oops. <coughs> and have a cough. <laughs> okay, that should be all right. I might, I might just have it back over here again a little bit so I'm not working in the corner there. All right, so this is um, my Stamping Up website. If you wanted to shop with me, you can go to this website and hit shop now. You can also join through there as well. So there is a join button and there is a shop now button. But if you need any help, like I say with that joining, please um, reach out. 
Now, um, this is my free gift host code for June. So just make sure that that one's in there when you're shopping with me and you spend over $50 and you will get that free thank you gift. I like a little surprise gift from me um, as a thank you. Um, if you're spending over $250, if you're thinking of spending over $250, you would be silly to actually not join. I would join. However, if you are spending over $250, just leave that um, host code out because you will actually get free item, like free product credit to spend within your order. So if you spend $250, you actually get 10% back. So $25 on free product. So that's something that Stamping Up do, which is awesome. So yeah cool hopefully that helps now if you're watching and you're watching me live please say hello i'd love to see that people are with me because it's not my usual time slot so i don't i didn't really know whether i was going to have friends so we are going to have a look at this level complete um stamp set and i actually decided to use with it one of the designer series paper that is on sale um, and it actually is called Stargazing. So it's Stargazing 12 by 12. An awesome pack of paper um, that make, going to make some pretty cool cards. There's some pretty cool colours in this. So the coordinating colours, I actually did get, I don't think I got all of them out. Now I've confused the situation. No, here we go. These are some of the coordinating colours. So basic black. So great for some boys' cards. Basic Black, Crushed Curry, Night and Navy, Starry Sky, and the Tahitian Tide. So um, some great colours there. Um, I just wanted to... What's that? Um, I have no idea. If I just flick that for a second. Yeah, okay. Um, so they're the coordinating colours. So that's what we're going to work with. And we just need to figure out which designer series paper I would like to use. So I'm probably not going to use the planets, not with um, the level complete, but pretty, pretty nice, hey. And then they've got the starry sky on the back. Got the galaxy. They've got that one there. The planets again. Got that one there. That's cool. Um, that one, that one. This one that one and that one yes yeah, so really really nice colors hey for boys or girls there's some real nice um, pinks in there as well that would make an awesome card so what I might thinking of what I was my colors I've got to the side here I'm just and that is the awesome thing with stamping up this is the thing I love and it makes us all look professional is they help us with the color coordination so on the back of here and in the catalogue, you'll find that with this designer series paper, it will tell you the coordinating colours. Now, the coordinating colours come in both your cardstock and your ink pads um, and even your stamp and write markers. And there's also blends as well. So everything you can be colour coordinated because sometimes that's a hard part of scrapbooking and card making. Is thinking of those colors so we're going to use I, I did I did like one of these I know it's kind of a little bit you know university but I think it will look good on this card so I might I might use this one yep so what what we'll do is yeah well you what I'll put that one aside but I think I need another color to go with that um, I'm just trying to think of which, if I use that one, it's quite quite a little bit fancy. So we need something that's not as fancy. Now let's have a look. Okay, all right. So we'll have that one. Actually, maybe I'll change it up. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll. And maybe I'll just think. Okay, I like this one. So we're going to go with this one. And I think. I wonder if that goes, I wonder if I could actually think of something that goes behind that. No, we're just going to use black behind it. We'll use the black cardstock that it tells us to use. Or well, doesn't tell us that it's one of the coordinating colours. All right, so we'll just get this back in the packet if I can. If it won't make me fight too much. All right, so we'll grab our trusty trimmer. 
if you're thinking of joining and you haven't got yourself a trimmer, this is a real nice trimmer. Um, and it does come in, you can change this to either, it comes with inches or you can change it to a metric ruler so you can buy the additional attachment. Um, but it does extend out. Um, and it is, and it, like so obviously you can cut, you know, measuring down here as well. It has a trimmer as well as a scorer. So handy dandy tool, let me tell you. Okay. Well, I think I like that one now too. Actually, I might use that one because that one's kind of got a bit of pink in it for the girls. We'll leave that one. Change my mind already. But you know I can. All right. So let's do this one. I think I actually like that one. So we're going to cut this at, now, I'm not going to cut it at anything because I'm going to do my base card first. So we get a piece of black, and this is actually my new packet of black. I only had bits and pieces left, so I had to buy myself a, a new one. So they come in A4, and I'll just pull one out, and then we will, I might actually do this, yeah, I'll do this this way. So we're going to cut at 10.5, so directly in half. 10.5 centimeters and straight down and that will give you two cards to that piece and then all we're going to do is I use the top of that lip there is a score on it I'll show you two ways I use the top of that lip and just fold to it and press down and then I just use my bone folder and crease that down now the other way you can do it is you can put it in here and you score it at uh, 14.8 so you then bring your trimmer up don't use your trimmer this is your scorer the lighter colored one and just score across and that will give you a score line that you can just fold okay sometimes that gives you sometimes it's a little bit off so you can just wiggle it down and again get your bone folder that's actually why I've been using the other way of late um, And you just score it. Either way, you're best to, sorry, bone, use the bone folder just to crease it down. So we've got our card there. Now I'll just put one back. Now behind that, so we're going to have this on the bottom. And I need a, one more colour. So I just don't know whether to go. And I think I'm already making my mind up as I grab it. Just grab this little piece. Not, not that we're going to have stars on it. But I think, I think that's nice. I was going to do the darker colour. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Oh, the darker colour. Because I think, I think he's 13. So if I put that one there, maybe that one might be better. Yeah, the darker colour is a little, a little bit of an older boy, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. So we'll go with that. Put that Tahitian tie just aside because I might not use that one. Okay, so this piece here, so our first base, our first mat to the card, layer, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, hey, Lisa, how are you? And hey, Patricia, you found me. You made it. Yes, yeah, see, I didn't even know. I that, At the time I spoke to you earlier, I didn't even know I was going live, but oh, how things change. <laughs> so I cut this one at 10 centimetres. So glad I've got friends. Yay, I cut this one at 10 centimetres um, and then 14.4. So basically what I've done, and this is what I always do with my cards, from my base card, which measured 10.5, I just go down 0.5 of a centimetre to do my layers. So that was 10.5. So I did that one as 10. And then the other measurement was 14.8. Um, 14.8, so I'll take that one down to... 14.3 <laughs> depending on how your maths is hey so that will go on there and it will just give me that little bit of a border so that's that there and then with my designer series paper yeah I want to use this one I'm going to do this at 9.5 so again I've just gone down that 0.5 so 9.5 what did this one measure again? Yeah, 14.3, 14.3. 13.8. Um, 
So it's just going down that 0.5. I know I'm kind of trying to do my maths, but it's not hard to go down in 0.5 increments. Other or like I do very often show, you can use your pencil and just draw it. Use you do it that way as well. So there's that there. Put that paper away for a second. And so that's kind of what our base of our card will look like. Now on here, do we? No, we don't want to use any ribbon for a guy. So we've got that there. And then what I was going to do is, like I say, I've got my punches. So I now, I think I might stick with this same colour and we will do a punch. I'll just, that, that's big enough. So we'll do a punch. So this is, um, Stamping Up have quite a few circle punches at the moment. So I've got the two and three eighths. I've got the two inch and the one and three quarters. I think that's all of them that are available at the moment. One of these comes with a stamp set. I couldn't tell you which one, but it is a nice stamp set. But it would be in the catalog. So I just gotta punch that one out. Did I do the biggest one? I did, yep. So we'll do one, we'll get two of those. If I can find another piece. No, probably not, I have to chop one in half. I'll just chop another piece here. So I usually always, when I chop my cardstock, like you saw I did this, I usually chop it this way, the A4. It's just that I'm doing that different fold card today. And I always chop it first at 14.8. And then I know that that one side will always make a card. And then this side I can use for punching out these circles. I always use the punch upside down so I obviously can see when I'm putting the piece of cardstock in there, just like that. And then we all might just, we're going to use some basic white. Now the basic white cardstock comes in thick, the thicker cardstock, which is nice to make cards with, um, or this is just your plain basic white cardstock. Oh, don't do it the same size. We're going to go down to the two inch and punch a couple of those. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll glue these ones down first. Anyone else crafting today or planning to craft on the weekend? We actually have um, a demonstrator only event tomorrow. Um, it's an online one that they offer every year. So it doesn't matter kind of where you're located. Um, it's called Creativity Now. So Stamping Up stamping up Team and some demonstrators because it's a global company. So global demonstrators are going to show us um, how to make three cards. So that's exciting. That starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm pretty sure Lisa... I'm pretty sure you're coming along, Lisa. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure you're on the list. Yeah, so, um, and I actually have, and I forgot to mention this this morning, Patricia, I actually have a team event coming up. It's actually with the Greater Team. Awesome, I thought it was. Cool, can't wait to be chatting. We're going to be chatting online while we're watching it online. Yeah, I'm excited too. Um, yeah, but our team event is coming up on the 19th of August. So if... Um, you're interested in that it is an in-person event in western sydney however i'm we're doing an online version as well so you guys can be online and we'll demo some cards and that's actually on a saturday and it goes for all day so if you join online so you have to be part of my you know for my team um it's for the greater team so you have to be a demonstrator with me to go um but it's 55 dollars, and you get all the i should stick this down you get all the supplies you need to make the cards that we're making um, and they all get sent to you if you're doing it online or if not you'll get them in person um, at, the, at the event so yeah it's awesome it's going to be a lot of fun um, and it's a really good really good day so it's something you can do at home as well um, if you are anywhere in Australia so if you'd like some more information um, first off make sure you are on my team as a happy crafter um, and then we will get you registered for that event. So, so we'll stick those down like that. 
Now, what we're going to do is we've got this one's kind of going to go there and this one's kind of going to go there and we've got to use that stamp set now, don't we? So I'm going to do this controller. Yeah, I'll do the, the bigger one. Oh, I should I do the little one on this one? I might actually do the little one. Yeah, I'm going to do the little one on this one. So we grab um, this stamp out. I'll just grab the block because I didn't get my block out earlier. Um, here it is. I actually put them away the other day. It was amazing. I thought I'm going to put all my, all my blocks into my case when I had a bit of a tidy up. There we go. So we'll put that one on there. Um, and then I'm going to do some embossing. So we're going to emboss this on some black cardstock. And I'll just chop this off. So I like to use my um, embossing or my or my embossing accessories. Um, so this comes. This comes in a kit. I'm just going to show you what you get. You get your embossing buddy, which is awesome. Your tweezers, your little brush, um, and I'll show you how all that works. Now, the embossing powders they come in three packs, so you can get the metallics, um, which is your copper, silver, and gold, and then your um, your basics, which is your black, white, black, white, and clear. So we're going to use some silver. I actually use some white for the girls' card, which I did ahead of time but we'll have a look at that one soon okay so we'll get some silver out now the versamark so you can buy the versamark someone asked me the other day for their embossing what's this is the best stamp set i know um stamp set ink pad versamark it never lets me down with i've never I've, I've used it for many many years so never lets me down okay so we're going to where did I put my stamp? Oh, here we go. We're going we're gonna to ink this up with this Versamark. Now, what I should have done is, so get the embossing buddy and just um, run it over your piece of paper. And then um, we'll just make sure that that's wet again. And then we're going to stamp this down. Just like that nice firm but don't wiggle on it and then what would what this comes in all this what this how this works not great with my words um you just tip your powder over cover your whole image now what this plate is awesome for too is if you were doing a number of these you could just leave your silver in there and just kind of pick it up and move it down so you wouldn't didn't have to you wouldn't have to put your um your powder away every time so then all you need to do is give it a tap once your powder's on your on the ink you don't you can you can leave that just make sure you powder it up because otherwise your ink will dry so we just push all that down grab your container back and just do that and then I usually just tap on here with the lid and that'll just bring it all down and once my lid's empty, I just give it one last brush. And that's it. I love that. It's I used to fold pieces of paper and all sorts of things, and this just works really easily. Okay, so we'll just put them ones away. And we'll give my um, the stamp a clean. Hey Martha, how are you? Glad you find me. Surprise. <laughs> Shaking it up a little bit. No, not by choice. Family choice. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that one back. Now um, we need to use the heat gun. So this is where this... Now, the heat gun can be really hot. So see how they open? Once they grip, grip onto your cardstock, you, can, you don't even have to hold them like tweezers. It'll just hold it there for you. Oh, like that. Now I'll just turn this heat gun on and I'll heat it up a little bit. Stamping Up do sell a nice heat gun. I actually recently bought this one because I had an older one 
and I wanted to treat myself. <laughs> so I did. So that's a bit hot, hotter, and then we just put it on the image. And I love embossing, so hopefully, hopefully together we can watch this change. I remember many, many years ago watching someone emboss and I'm like, oh! when it started to change, it was like, oh my God, I sometimes go from the underneath as well. It stops my um, card curling, I think. So see that change? Just like that. And the longer you do it, the more flatter that embossing, embossing will be. Um, and I, I usually like it a little bit more raised, so there we go. Just put that gun there so it doesn't change. Take those tweezers off. Put them to one side, like that. And then all you need to do is fussy cut that image out. So just cut that image out. That was a bit of stamping up talk right there, fussy cut. It's like, what's that? The crafters would know it. Can't wait for the retreat. Yes. It's going to be exciting, especially for Lisa. <laughs> um, especially for everyone. Yeah, Martha. I'm going to speak to Martha, actually. You come into our retreat. So Martha's also on my team, one of our lovely crafters. And, um, yeah, so that retreat in August, in West, in not far from you, uh, Martha, get in contact with me if you if you're going. What are you talking about, Amanda? And we'll discuss it. It's going to be an awesome day, and you will love it, Martha. You will love it. In fact, I'm going to be giving you a message after this after this live because I'm pretty sure you would have got it in an email. But don't be shy. Come along. You'll love it. It's just like an extension of the coffee and cards. So it will, it will be a lovely day. Okay. So, we have our card, we have our little gaming controller, now we need to have a happy birthday. So I'm going to put a happy birthday on the top one here, so we'll leave that one over there, because that, well let's glue that one all up, hey, let's glue it all up. So we're going to put glue on the bottom of that one, and then this one's ready to go. And then that circle can go on that circle, and then with this one I will put it on I've been using a lot of these lately, um, and of course I can't find them. Here we go. Um, adhesive, the adhesive foam sheets, because you can cut them to whatever size you want to do. I like dimensionals, don't get me wrong. I, I took a picture this morning of my dimensional on the floor, so believe me, I use them. But sometimes, for a little bit more coverage, I'll use these. And then you can just chop it. You do have to be careful <laughs> with... Um, I didn't put enough postage on some some cards. So you've got to be careful because the more, more of this foam stuff you put in, you, po you might need a couple of postage stamps. So um, that one will go on. Oh, hang on a minute. We'll just a little bit of a test and I'm going to put it like that. There we go. That's cool. All right, so now we need to do our happy birthday. Now, with the happy birthday that's in here, you could all, always use it the way it actually says, happy birthday. Or for this card, I'm going to show you how to mask one of your stamps up to do it differently or to kind of only use one of the words. I'll show you. So we grab these um, masking paper. And I'm just going to grab a little bit. I, I, I keep all my little bits and pieces so we grab this little bit here and we grab the happy birthday we put the happy birthday on I usually like to put it down like that actually and we bring the block to it um, and then we grab that little bit of masking tape and what we're going to do is we're going to actually mask up that happy so we're going to mask up the happy first And I'll get, I'm just thinking what, um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that over there. Okay. And I'll just think about the colour. We're going to use the starry sky that we've used here in the ink pad. So here we go. Now I'm going to give this a little bit of a test. I've got some paper here. So, well, actually I won't test, 
test it because I've got my, <laughs> that won't work. You can test, but not when you've got a masking paper on. So see how I've done that there? I then remove that and I'm just going to use birthday. So we get the card here and we're going to go birthday like that. And then I'm going to give that a clean. Give that a clean. Like that. And I'll just stamp that on there just to dry it off a little bit. And then I'm going to do get a little bit more of that masking because just little odds and ends. And I'm going to cover up birthday this time. You can do it with post-it notes. You don't have to buy. But the stamping up masking paper it is quite, quite cool. I, I do all sorts of things with it. Um, get your fingers in it. But yeah, you could use post-it notes. That's what I was about to say. You could stick a post-it note over the part of the stamp that you want to cover up. Either or. This is playing silly games. Or it's my eyes. It's a bit of both. So we'll cover up birthday. Yep. I had to think about which word I was covering up. So we'll stick that down. And then we just do happy. And that's got the happy. So again, I take that away. And that ink has not touched the birthday. And then I put happy down. And then I will be happy if it's kind of straight. <laughs> it's worked out all right. So that's that there. And we'll give that one a clean. So this is just a chamois. It just has water. So it's a chamois that you sim simply sh simple chamois. chamois. It's in, it's in the um, catalogue. Um, but also on the website um, and I just put in a DVD case and it's just water it, and it, they last forever you just rinse it out with water looks pretty crappy but works forever so that's that all right so we're getting there now I've got that and that and that now I want to put just a couple of um, I'm going to use some um, black just some black no, not black because black's not going to cover what I what I. It's not going to do what I wanted to do. Actually, no, I'm not. What I'm going to do? I wanted to use this stamp here. Um. Oh, actually, I might use this stamp. Oh, no, I better not put love hearts on it. Um, I was going to use this stamp here. That one. Um, but I'm just trying to think how I can do that now. Actually, what I might do is we might grab a bit of white. So, grab some white here. And with that starry sky back again. No, that's not in navy. Try again. Starry sky. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab. I'm just going to, whoop, nearly missed. Stamp that there. And again. See, and then we'll go the other side. One, and I'm just keeping my stamp edge by the. It's not, it's not perfect by all means, but it's fine. So we will clean that one off. Oh, I'll just clean that. Sometimes I clean it off on that when I, when I can see that it's. A bit heavy, I'll clean it off on that piece first. So just always make sure your stamp sets are nice and clean before you put them back in the packet. And they'll last forever. Well, I can't say forever, but they will be fine for many years to come. So that's that there. And we'll grab the trimmer back. And I just got something drop. Hopefully it's not something I need. And we'll just chop this down. Actually, what we'll do is I'll, I'll chop it here first at the end. And then we'll line it up again and chop down there. So that's my one piece. All the time I'm keeping my scraps. Like that. 
So what I was going to do with those is I was going to put that one like that and that one like that. Nope. I think only one actually. I think I just like one. Yeah. Yeah, I think one will do. Because it's a boy after all, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's good. Um, so we will we will stick these down. I've just got to watch where that goes. Probably about there. Guesstimate's good. Like that. Oh, and we'll stick this happy birthday down. Oh. Like that. So the happy birthday, we'll just figure out where this all goes because that was going to go under there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep, that's it. So we'll stick this one down. Hang on, no, we'll stick this one down. This one like that. Um, now, I what I was going to do, <laughs> I just don't know whether he's thirteen. What I would do with the card too is I would. Um, these are the um, alphabet, the alphabet dies. I would put actually the age on there, and that makes it really. Um, but I won't do it um, because I'm, I don't want to do thirteen if he's fourteen. So I won't do it, but I would use the numbers. And then you can put, I reckon you can put a little bit of, a little bit of bling on this card. Um, uh, oh, they need to be not, not girly, hey. Um, you know what would work really well? Oh, actually, this probably would work well. I think either the rustic metallic dots or... Um, the ones we're actually using using tomorrow, the classic matte dots, because the classic matte dots got black. Let's go black. Yeah. So we'll open these ones up. Stuff everywhere. My floor needs a clean anyway. Well, you, you saw on my on my page this morning. I just had to put that. I I, I put the little love heart somewhere. Um. Yeah. I got stuff everywhere, and it's getting walked out of my my room that I craft in. So I'll grab the take your pick tool. This is an awesome. I always say it, but yeah, I I love my take your pick. It's got that putty on the end, so it makes these. Um, embellishments quite easy to work with so just like that there we go that just finished it off I think didn't it so I'll put them over there because that's what we're using tomorrow all right so there's our first card now um, what I would do for the envelope oh, sorry for the inside is I have I have some cardstock that I have pre-cut at 10 centimeters by 14.4 and I would actually I'm going to get that little piece that I didn't use and put it on the other side. So when you open it, it will be opposite to the to the one that's on the card. I usually try and put something on the inside, whether it be a little bit of designer series paper or just another stamp. Use another stamp from the stamp set. And then, or you could put happy birthday inside or um, I like that one. I like that saying too. When it feels like game over, always choose to play again. <laughs> I need to let my son know about that. <laughs> when he gets cranky on the game. It's like, chill. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> so there we go. There you go. I like that one. All right. What do you think? I think I might make a girl's one now. Let's make a girl's one. All right, put that one over there. So for the girls one, I thought, I'm just going to leave that white there because I might use the white. I thought 
for the girls one, um, I'm going to use these, which are quite handy. These are the Bright and Beautiful Memories and More cards and envelopes. So I've got an envelope already to go, looking quite pretty there. <laughs> and then inside you've got, I thought they were all the same, but I've just flicked through and thought, hmm, they're not all the same. Oh, I have folded two. So they, oh no, that's the envelope again. Put that one back in there. So you've got some pink um, and then that other colour there. The other colours there. So I'm just trying to think. So what I've done so far, I've done some cutouts of this one because I was thinking, I think it just depends whether um, I want to work with it on. Oh, I think I'm going to work with it on there. Yep. So we're going to do that card. So these cards are a little bit bigger than what I make, which is good to have them in your stash to do a different size cards. Um, I'm just trying to see whether they tell you what size they are. How about I just measure it? That would be much easier and I can tell you. They measure... Probably about... 15 nearly 16 centimeters that way and um, nearly 11 so they're four and a half inch by six and a quarter inch probably yep there we go that's probably the easiest way for you to get an idea of what you're looking at so and we've got oh, another card out there we'll put that one away I've been dying to use these I opened them but have never got back to them but how pretty is that? I love that. Um, so we've got some of these I've already chopped out. So I've done this in, so this color is the Fresh Freesia with the white emboss on the different controller. And then you've got the Lemon Lolly and the Azure Afternoon. So that's a new color, one of the new colors. So that's your Lemon Lolly and your Azure Afternoon. And again, all these colours were on the back, on the back of here, and they would tell you in the catalogue as well. All the coordinating colours. So I'm just using the colours that they've told me to coordinate with them. Can't find the email about August even event, but let me know. Ah, uh, yes, I will. I I will give you a call, Martha, and I'll, I will um, send you the email. Cool. So that's that there. Um, now, with that comes the Bright and Beautiful Memories and More card pack. So these are awesome too because you can use all of these. So thrilled for you. You can just add these to your cards. Um, you're, you're seriously the best. Um, enjoy today. And then there's something on the back. A star. Um, let's celebrate something amazing. Um... You can do this. Good times. Today we celebrate. Congrats. Hello, lovely. Best wishes. So um, make every day a celebration. Oh, I like that one. We might use that. Yeah, let's lose, use that one. I'll try and incorporate that into there. So you get them ones and then you get bigger ones as well in this pack. Um, so you get the bigger cards that can go directly onto there. Um, and again, congrats, you deserve it. And then a different colour at the back. Happy birthday. So simply one card, one base, happy birthday. Put a bit of ribbon on it, a bit of bling, and you got an awesome card. You can do it. That's a nice one. Um, today is the day. Yes, yeah, really, really nice. And then they come with a sticker sheet. So your sticker sheet, you can just stick um, your stickers on. Um, this makes me happy party time the best congratulations and they just stick on so we might leave them out because we might stick a few might stick some of those on because this, this one is quite a large card so oh we'll put them away because we're not going to use any of those I, they're great for scrapbooking in fact stamping up in their catalogue have a memory keeping journal that these go in and you can put photos in they're, they're a beautiful idea in fact they i think they're featuring obviously where these new memory memories and more catalogues i have one 
I just don't know where mine is. I've put it away because I'm still hoping to get a new cupboard for my craft room just to organise my, my craft room out a little bit more. Now let me see if I can find these. Um, here it is. See on here? Um, and this is the folder here and they come with these kind of pockets. But see how they just put some photos in and then um, use those memories and more cards to fill it up. I love it. I, in, my, in fact, my daughter's started one. I just... I don't know where hers is as well. So um, we got we got this that's going to go with that. So we, what we'll do is we'll glue this one together because I know I'm happy with that. And we will again um, use. Now, lucky enough, I was talking about all the all the um, foam adhesives that you put on and postage. These cards will actually be handed. So if you're handing someone a card, it's the matter at all. Hey Sam, how are you? Cool. So we'll just take those ones off and we're going to stick our gaming controller on there. And there's our gaming controller. I might actually fold this card so it's already pre folded for you. Don't even have to worry about that. And that's like that and we want to try and well, we might not need this other one because we've got this that we we're gonna use somehow I think I might chop it down you don't have to use them the way they are too you can chop them all into pieces so if we chop that down and even just a little bit more And I keep those two other pieces, of course I do. So that's going to go on there. Like that. And I'm just thinking... Oh, we've got some stars and everything here. Oh. Um, I'm just thinking, do I want anything, any, anything more out of this stamp set? Probably not. Hmm. Oh, I like that. And I was actually just thinking, I like this. These ribbons are beautiful. The um, this ribbon duo combo. I know one colour is Lemon Lime Twist. I think the other one's um, Petal Pink. But this, I think, might look nice up here. Yeah. So we're just going to cut off a little bit of that ribbon. And grab some tear and tape. So this is the tear and tape. I've got all sorts. It's always handy to have lots of different adhesives ready to go. So I'm going to cover up some of those confetti or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to stick that on the back. And then grab another piece of tear and tape. No problem, Sam. Thanks. Happy to inspire people, hey. And as I always say, and, and Sam usually is the one to remind me, if you um, would like to share this to your page and anyone that you, you know might enjoy crafting as well um, please do I, I would love you to so we'll put that on the back and another piece of tear and tape and I probably got a little bit too much then probably I carried away and we'll stick that one down I did get carried away but that's all right we'll make sure we fix that up in a second so I will just take that piece off because that one was quite big and I might even grab this piece as well and it was not very happy. Oh, it's not. It's gone. Okay. So then I'm going to put some glue on this as well because the tear and tape won't be enough, but we'll put some glue around it as well. And we're actually going to stick this on. We're making the decision that we want this on. So I'm going to stick that on. 
and it wants to stick before I'm ready. That's the tear and tape. Now that's the thing with the glue. The glue gives you a little bit of time to think. The tear and tape, there's no thinking. So I'm just gonna grab some glue dots. Ha! Huh. Have I used every single adhesive tonight? I don't know. That's good. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad everyone's here and are, and are good. So I'm just going to... I probably should have put the ribbon around a little bit more loosely, but that's okay because what I'm going to do is from this one, I'm going to make just a little bit of a, a bow. Because this is a girl gamer. This is a little girl gamer. Like my little girl gamer that I have in my room, in my house. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll try that again. One loop. Everybody does loops bows differently. I reckon I'm still bow challenged. It's funny, um, oh no, I think, so even um, in our greater team too, we do card swaps from time to time. <laughs> You'll find that Amanda usually won't put ribbon, bows, sorry, not ribbon, bows on her card swap swaps. Um, because bows and I don't always see eye to eye. So I'm going to stick that down that way and I'm going to get some glue dots and stick it on there so that it doesn't come apart now. Because it's just not cooperating. There we go. It'll cooperate, cooperate when I put some glue dots on it. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I will put um, my favourite linen thread or um, baker's twine <laughs> on swap cards, but very rare would you see Amanda do a bow with a ribbon. Not great at it. Okay, so that's that there. Um, and I think we'll put that gaming thing there. I'm actually thinking uh, before I put that down, I'm going to do something. I'm going to, I'm going to do something and I might regret it, but I'm going to do it. I'm thinking I want to have a little bit more background on this. So I'm going to, now what color is that? Let me have a look. I reckon it's the azure. Yeah. So we'll grab that one in the ink. I could regret this guys, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to do a little bit of a background myself, I think. Use this grid paper to make it a bit straight. Um, you can buy the grid paper too, because um, sometimes the grid paper helps you lining projects up. Okay. I just thought I might. Just looked a little bit, um, just looked a little bit plain. Don't think I've, I don't think I've wrecked it. I actually think that's helped because the the cards the cards beautiful. Don't the the, the coloring is beautiful, but it just looked a little bit flat with my control. Here's my controller. And then we'll put that there. Oh, no, I like it. Do you reckon I should do it at the top as well? Oh, what do you think, guys? I'm going to take it off this sheet so you can see it. What do you think? Should I do that stamping up the top with that lemon, lemon lime twist colour? What do you guys think? Where's my other envelope? So what I can do here is I'll grab... <laughs> going crazy here. I'm going to grab the um, berry burst. Oh, I think I'm... Where's my berry burst? Well, maybe it's over here. Maybe it's... No, it's, we're using Poppy Parade tomorrow, aren't we? Hmm. Oh, there it is. I think it's here. 
Yeah, there is. There is that stuff. So I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to do the bottom of this. <laughs> that gives it something different. I like that. Um, so I've done that. What do you think? Should I do any more, or am I gonna? Am I gonna wreck it? I don't know. Help! Looks good. You think leave it? Do you think leave it, Lisa? I'm thinking I'm leaving it. I think it looks nice for a little girl, doesn't it? Little girl, bit bigger girl. Where is it? Let's have a look at my cards that I've made today then. So if you have any questions at all, um, shoot me a message. I'm happy to help. Um, if you'd like to shop with me, um, by all means, have a, look via, have a look at my links. They really do help. Um, help you to shop in my online store so there's those cards oh hang on I should turn that one the other way shouldn't I there we go there's our girls card and our boys so I like them and I'm just going to pack up while I say farewell so have a, have a good night um, have a great weekend um Stay safe, as I always say. Stay safe. Stay warm if it's cold where you are. It has been cold. Um, yeah, I like them, and I'm so glad that I got my my happy birthday, my gaming happy birthday card done. But all I will do, and what will probably would finish this card off, is like I say, um, grab the um, your alphabet your alphabet dies, which has your alphabet and your numbers, and I would put the age on both of those. Um, and they would really finish those cards off. Cool. All right. Um, thanks for everyone. I dropped off a card to you in your letterbox. Oh, when was that? Maybe today. If it was today, you should have said hello. But thank you. I'm going to go have a look now because I love Happy Mail. <laughs> thanks so much, Lisa. Um, card looks awesome. Have a great weekend. Yeah, you too, Patricia. Hopefully... And enjoy your goodies uh, when you come back or your um or your crafting goodies you've been getting. Alrighty, catch you later. Bye.